Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Ag Network reporting to you from the annual Tree and Vine Expo held at the Stanislaus County Fairgrounds. Had a great crowd here today of growers and PCAs. And one of the presentations today was given by Derek Millsaps from USDA Wildlife Services who talked about some various wildlife pest threats for tree and vine growers. One of them being coyotes or coyotes, however you like to put it. It's definitely a problem in California. Often at times it's because they're, they're chewing off drip lines or maybe threatening for, for dairy cattle, right? Mm -hmm. Dylan eating the calves or mm -hmm. whatnot. Uh, but if you could explain a little bit about what, you know, what they do and, and how, what, what, can, what can farmers do about it? Okay, yeah. So yeah, coyotes, coyotes, it's like almonds and almonds, right? Like you said earlier. So yeah, we didn't really back, uh, it was about 1920s when the coyotes first started moving into California. Uh, before that, they were uh, more on the plains. And so they've, they've moved their way in here. They're very adaptive and they, they're very opportun opportunistic animals. So they can eat just about anything. They'll eat fruits, small rodents. They'll get into your trash. Uh, they'll, they'll take advantage of anything they can. They're very adaptive to living in you know, different environments, urban environments, rural areas as well. Uh, so sometimes like people are having, some of the main things what we'll see is them chewing on drip lines. Uh, we talked a little bit today about some different ways, maybe if you can bury you know, the drip line three or four inches in the ground, nothing real deep, or some sort of like harder material like a PVC pipe to, to protect it. What we're looking at, most of these coyotes, they're, they're not there for the water. They're there because a lot of the pups are teething. It's just like having a, a new puppy. You get your new uh, Labrador retriever and it chews on the hose and all your wife's fa favorite things in the house, you know? <laughs> so it's the same thing we see with the coyotes. They're in there, they're not, they're not looking for water. A lot of these places have plenty of water sources around. And so it really can cost these, these ranches a lot of money. They're, you know, they don't have time to go around and mending all these chewed up hoses. And we're also seeing the same thing with uh, foxes as well. It's not, the, I mean, they're not the only animal that will do this. So. I would, if you do think you have some a problem like this, I would contact your local biologist uh, with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife or uh, your local wildlife specialist with USDA. They can come out, they can assess the situation, they can see what's going on, they can look for tracks, scat, they can look for hair, different signs, to figure out what you're dealing with, and then they can also give you ideas of what to do with. Especially uh, since some of these uh, some of these critters could also have diseases or yeah, they, and so like we do test also we test all the coyotes with uh, we'd look for tularemia and plague and all of our specialists carry disease sampling kits with them so the professionals and they know exactly what to look for a lot of these ranches also are like we're we're seeing urban sprawl and it may not be safe for them to go out there and shoot a gun and shoot maybe what they think is a coyote and maybe. Uh, they don't really know all the laws and regs. So having the proper person out there, the professional that can ID it, the ones that are trained where all of our uh, field specialists are NRA certified uh, gun handlers. And if they carry a rifle, they're certified to carry it. So it's good to have that in these urban areas. They are a non-game mammal in California. So you would need a hunting license from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. And so that's something that if you want to look into getting is you would contact your local um, state or um, state warden on that. But yeah, we're, start, we're seeing this like more and more coyote issues. Uh, sometimes we talked in the presentation about fencing. Fencing can be a great thing, exclusionary areas. Burying the fence is crucial. Coyotes like to go underneath the fence as well. Or so over. Over, sometimes <laughs> over, yeah. So the best fence sometimes may not be the best fence. You got to adapt just like they've adapted to living in different environments as well. Great, well thank you Derek. Read more about wildlife pests and, and, the, and agriculture in our publications, American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, Vegetables West, and California Dairy Magazines. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.